Let's go. Hello, Melissa Joan readers. We're here to talk to you about reading this summer. We can't visit you in your classrooms, usually you would, but we wanted to share some resources with you. As you know, it's important to read over the summer so you can avoid that summer slide. Reading is such a fun way to know a new character. You can go on an adventure. You can um, get ready for next school year by reading this summer. Oh, so we're asking that to read. Book, go outside, a cozy blanket, call someone who lives far away and share a book with them. We're so excited to see what you need when we catch up with you next year. Not only is it important to read over the summer for all of the things that Ms. Sabula just mentioned, but if you read over the summer, we are going to have a summer reading party. Woo but there's a catch. Go ahead, Miss Han. All right, the catch is that we have set some amazing goals for you guys to meet to earn your summer reading party. So if we make it to bronze level, which is 1,000 books read by MJS students, we will have an outdoor reading party. But if we make it to silver, even more books, 2,000, we will have an outdoor reading and dance party. But it gets even better. We could get to gold. If we can get all the students together to read 3,000 books this summer, we will have an outdoor reading dance party with popsicles. So in order for us to know that we've met this goal, you need to bring in your reading log. This is what your reading log looks like, but you could also just use a piece of paper for your reading log. And what happens if you bring in your completed reading log? What happens? Well, you will receive a water balloon. And with that water balloon, you will be able to throw it at Miss Han or your teacher. Won't that what? be fun? You Whose know Whose idea you was this? The water balloon at Miss Han or your teacher. But so, where do you get books? That's a great question. Well, I've put a lot of things on the Melissa Jones Library website. There's a special page called 2020 Summer Reading and Listening. It has links to things from the Guilford Free Library where you can search their online catalog. You can even get things digitally through their Hoopla account. If you don't have a library card, there's a sign up to get a library card without even leaving your house. And it has um, information about their summer reading program, which books that you read could count for both our summer reading challenge and their program. So you can Ooh. do two things at once. You'll find the link to the journal that where you're gonna record your summer reading on, on my page two, and even some book suggestions by grade level. If you're stuck on ideas about what you might wanna read, I have a link to a summer reading and creative summer fun doc for ideas and other ways to keep your reading momentum going as the summer goes on. So be sure you check out the Melissa Jones Library 2020 summer reading and listening page. So you'll have lots of option boys and girls. We can't wait to see how many books you'll read this summer. All right. Woo, good luck. Reading. Good luck, uh, guys. See you next year.